The local youth detention facility was forced to act quickly to have some of its clients removed immediately. We worked with the courts uh, yesterday all afternoon and we've been able to release a number of uh, minors that are here uh, for violations of court order under truancy. We're also taking a look at the uh, juvenile drug court right now and uh, they've also worked with us and we're, we have some pending releases with regard to that as well. DUIA Director Chris Duenas says as of today the agency has 71 clients, just four under its max capacity. However, he says it was just yesterday when the facility was nine youth members over its capacity. Duenas says they had to move forward with the release to avoid breaking any fire codes or putting any of the children and staff at risk. Like any other, um, you know, facility where you have your your, your housing individuals, you, you have codes, fire codes and safety codes, and so we just have a max capacity like in any other uh, building or any other <laughs> space that would house either 24-7 for individuals. Duenas says that this is also the time of the year when they see an increase in youth entering the prison. He says the problem may soon force them to release clients in the drug courts program if this trend continues. Over the last two years, uh, it's gotten worse. It's, it's become more. Uh, the, the peaks really are, are generally uh, in the beginning of the school year uh, as, as we approach a holiday season and, and then uh, at the end of the school year uh, where we see a lot of these problems. A lot of them stem from problems in school. So that's where we get a lot of our cases. Aside from beginning a program with the clients which would indicate the status at DOA, Duenia says he is also speaking with his staff regarding plans to expand and possibly relocate the Miniela facility. We're going to look at building a new facility. I'd like to put out uh, perhaps a RFP within the next three months uh, to get a firm to come in and create a master plan, including a new facility and uh, something that will take us for the next 30 years. Duenas is also working with the Department of Agriculture on a grant to fund the construction of that new facility. Nick Delgado, PNC News.